Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures, and this video is going to be a little different. If you have been watching the channel for a while, um, this one is just kind of a public service announcement. Um, just kind of my experience with an issue for an upcoming trip to film in a national park. If you are new to the channel and here because of the title, um, I am a full-time YouTuber and have been for a year and a half now. I make my living filming content around off-roading, camping, overlanding, that sort of thing, gear reviews and trips and, and all that sort of stuff. And in our travels, I mean, we, like, like most people, like to visit national parks. For a long time, uh, the National Park Service required permits and fees in order to film anything of commercial use in national parks. Well, we all got excited about it in 2021 because um, a guy with the last name of Price sued the National Park Service and the Attorney General uh, when he received a fine for making a YouTube video um, in uh, one of the national parks. I'm not sure which one. And he won. And that ruling came down in, I think, late summer of 2021. And the, which meant those of us that were YouTubers, um, very small, you know, just a guy or a girl with a camera and a backpack, um, you know, one tripod, what most of us who do YouTube do, um, that we could film in national parks and not have to get a permit, not have to pay fees. And it was fantastic. We went last year to uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, made a whole video uh, on our experience there. It was a fantastic experience. It was a really good video, I think. And uh, I was, we didn't have to worry about it. Well, as law things tend to do, um, that ruling, the, the National Park Service appealed that decision and in a higher court, not Supreme Court, it has not gone Supreme Court level yet, but uh, a higher court than the one that made the initial ruling overturned that ruling. And so now in, uh, at the, I think it was in October of 2022, we are now in January of 2023, now, we, we as just small-time filmmaker YouTubers are required to go through the permitting and fee process to be able to shoot anything. And that's in, it, that includes photos and video. So if you're you know, a photographer, landscape photographer who sells photos, and you think you're just going into the national park and going to shoot some great photos to sell, well, you're going to have to have a permit for that. Um, so this is just to, to walk you through my experience um, of what it's going to take to obtain a permit for an upcoming trip in March to Canyonlands National Park. Now, my understanding is every national park is a little bit different. They've all got slightly different rules. They've got slightly different requirements, but the permitting process is pretty much the same. So in March, me and some friends are going to uh, Moab, Utah to spend uh, four and a half days there. And one of our trips that we're going to take, um, to, to, to take our Jeeps on, is a trail called Elephant Hill. Elephant Hill is in the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park. So I was just curious, that according to the, the permitting guidelines on the National Park Service website, one to two people, camera and tripod, um, still requires a permit, but that permit is supposed to be free. So me thinking, okay, I am the filmmaker. My friends are just coming along with me. Um, you know, I'm just filming the adventure, but I'm the only one with the camera. I'm the only one shooting anything. I'm the only one with the YouTube channel. To me, that's one person filming. Um, well, the, the process to, to do this, there's no online application. You have to call or email the specific um, national park that you're going to. Got to do it way in advance. 30 to 45 days is the time period to get approval. Um, so you've got to know what day you're going into the national park uh, you know, specifically to be able to apply for that permit. So I emailed on Tuesday night, uh, which was two days ago, and yesterday morning had a reply 
from, uh, I'm not going to use his name because he was fantastic. Um, he was a super nice guy um, and very helpful just doing his job. I don't fault him at all for this, but he's the, with the commercial services office in the Southeast Utah group, which includes Arches National Park, Canyonlands, Natural Bridges National Monument, and Hub and Weep National Monument, which I've never heard of. Um, so anyway, he emailed me back and said, would love to talk to you more about this. Let's get on a phone call. Um, I'm free later this afternoon. If you're available, I replied back, yeah, give me a call. Here's my phone number. Well, within just a couple hours, he called me back, so super fast. And like I said, he was super nice. So after talking through what our goal was and what type of video I wanted to make, which is just like every other trip video that I've done, um, you know, just me and my friends, our Jeeps, uh, you know, shots of me talking inside the Jeep, um, shots with my GoPro on and around the Jeep, um, outside shots with my camera on a tripod as we drive by, you know, those type of things, getting the landscape of Elephant Hill and how beautiful that trail is and the, you know, the, the terrain on the trail, that sort of stuff. That's, that's the type of video I wanted to make. Well, what I, here's what I've learned. Um, me, as just one filmmaker, um, having four friends along with me, they count as actors. So they are part of the group, which means I now fall outside of the free permit category and now have to pay um, in the one to 10 crew category of $150. The permitting application, when you submit that, it costs $100, which is a non-refundable fee. So just to submit the application, it costs $100. And even if you're in the one to two category, you still have to pay that application fee. You just don't have to pay a permit fee. So the website makes it sounds like, you know, one dude with a camera, you know, you're, you're good to go. You can easily get, you know, you can get a permit for free. That's not true. Um, you do have to pay the application fee. And in my case, there were, there are other charges involved, um, which is hundred dollar application fee, an $80 administration fee, um, and, and like I said, this, this varies from national parks to national parks. So this is specific to the Southeast Utah group um, for, for what I'm talking about here. But I've got a friend who is trying to get permits for Glacier National Park. He's another YouTuber, and he's getting similar information, but also different, and I'll get into that. Um, so um, initially, I'm supposed to pay $280, which is the $100 application fee, $80 administration fee, and then a $100 monitoring fee. So in Canyonlands, um, for anyone filming or doing commercial work, um, I'm assuming photography too, you have to have one of their rangers tag along with you to monitor what you're doing. And you have to pay for that, which comes to $50 an hour. They're $280 initial fee um, includes two hours of monitoring. Well, you, you can't run Elephant Hill in two hours. So we were guessing we'd spend six to eight hours on the trail. So it includes two hours. So for their eight hours, that includes another six hours. So that's another $300 in monitoring fees. And then we fall into the one to 10 crew member uh, category. So that's $150 for the permit. So if I wanted to film this trip as just a YouTuber, um, you know, I don't carry around a film crew. We don't use lights and, um, you know, directors and, you know, we don't, we're, it's just me with a camera. Um, that comes out to $730 minimum um, for me to be able to film our day trip through Elephant Hill. Now, I'm not going to, you know, get all um, political and, you know, First Amendment, you know, rightsy on you here. Um, but th this whole process started with it being deemed unconstitutional for the National Park Service to charge fees for someone like me, and I'm assuming a lot of you watching this, 
to just be a, a normal group, just, just a normal group going through the national park and we're going to film the experience with, you know, one person shooting with a camera. Um, and unfortunately that has been overturned. And so now we're back to where we are. I don't know where this is ultimately going, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you are considering, you know, shooting a YouTube video in a national park, uh, in, in Canyon lands for me for a day, you know, eight hours out there, it's going to, if I were to do that, it's going to cost me $730 and I have to have a babysitter follow along the whole time. Which, you know, my, my wife said, you know what, you should, you should just do that. That way you can document the experience. And this is, you know, this is a trip we do for fun. I film it because it's fun. Um, and I told my wife, you know, having a babysitter along with us completely changes the dynamic and means I'm not having fun anymore. Um, I, I don't want to have to, you know, I shouldn't have to go ask permission if I'm going to you know, go set up a tripod at the end of this road and get us driving by, um, or do I have permission to, to walk and talk on this hiking trail? Uh, so it's, uh, it's frustrating. And I just wanted to share this frustration to whoever cares to watch. Um, my friend, the other YouTuber who's trying to get in Glacier, um, he has not been told anything about monitoring yet. Uh, and if there's any monitoring fees uh, for, for Glacier National Park. He has, however, been told he has to turn over proof of insurance. Uh, Canyon Lands, uh, the Southeast Utah District, did not say anything about having insurance. Uh, but Glacier did say you have to have insurance. And I'm not talking just your, your basic auto insurance policy. I'm talking a business insurance policy that protects you and, you know, what you're doing if you caused harm. I, I don't even know how all those types of insurance policies work, but uh, they required him, they're going to require him to turn over an insurance policy to, to make sure things are, are, are covered for what he's filming. And he's, his channel is very similar to mine. He'll be doing very similar things that I want to do in, um, in Canyonlands. Um, so, I, I, I mean, that's, that's an added expense on him that doesn't involve what he would have to pay to the National Park Service. So... Anyway, um, th that is the current situation here in January 2023. I have not seen anything yet if that's going to be appealed again and how, you know, how far that's going to go down the rabbit hole. If someone is you know, watching this is an attorney and you want to take on a First Amendment rights case and wants to pay any potential issues and stuff, then um, sure, I'll volunteer as tribute and you can do that. I don't even know if I would. Um, because again, that takes the fun out of it. And we do this for fun. Um, I, I, so most likely uh, we are still going to go do Elephant Hill because we've run it before. I did film it, never released any video for it because it was after that I learned that there were fees and stuff and I didn't want to get in trouble. So that video has never been released. I've never done anything with that footage. And so I think this trip in March where we're running Elephant Hill is I'm not going to film it. Um, there won't be a video released on Elephant Hill because I don't, I don't want to pay $730 for the permission to film, and I don't want to deal with having a, a, a monitor uh, tagging along with this everywhere we go. Um, so that's that's a bummer. I mean, that, that was a trip. We're going to film every other trail that we're doing out there. So I'm curious if if you're a YouTuber watching this, uh, I'm curious what your experiences are. If you've tried to gain permits for any other national parks um, since that ruling has come down in October of last year. Uh, what's What's been your experience? Did it deter you from filming like it is me? Uh, did it? Did you go through the, the process and have a good experience? I'd be curious to know about that. Um, but what were the actual fees? Were you a, a legit one person crew and they, you know, there were no fees for that? Um, I, I, I'm just curious what others' experiences are. So, like I said, I'm just I'm sharing this experience, and just to give you a heads up that this is what that process is like. Um, I do very much appreciate um, the guy I talked to. Like I said, he was super helpful, and he was just doing his job and trying to be as accommod as accommodating as he could to us, but still do what he's supposed to to do. Um, and super quick to call, great on the phone. 
Um, I, I appreciate that they have that phone call before sending you the application, so you're not wasting money that way. So that 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 you know, give them props to that. But um, yeah, that's that's my experience. Uh, wanting to film in March, Elephant Hill Trail, Canyonlands National Park, 730 bucks, and a babysitter for eight hours. Um, yeah, it's a bummer because uh, I love that trail and I wanted to be able to, to film it and show the beauty of that trail. But I don't think I will because it's just too much of a hassle. And um, I, I probably wouldn't make $730 from that video. I mean, maybe, maybe over the course of a year, but definitely not initially because um, YouTube ad revenue is not that fantastic. Um, so, uh, like I said, let me know in the comments um, if you've discovered our channel for the first time and interested to, to follow along with more of our adventures and find out more of what we do, hit the subscribe button. Um, uh, we, we've got a lot of great things coming up and we will have some incredible adventures that we will be filming both, uh, I mean, all over the country. So, um, and thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope this was helpful. Bye.